All right, thanks, Rich. Well, the Food and Drug Administration does not expect the number of eggs recalled to grow. More than half a billion have been recalled since last week because of a salmonella outbreak. Officials say it appears all the tainted eggs came from two Iowa farms where 20 FDA investigators have been sent. Till recently, there have not been many food safety standards in place for farms. New rules went into effect last month that requires producers to do more testing for salmonella and take other precautions. Well, the egg recall has most of us looking at breakfast a little differently these days. How can we be sure that the eggs we're buying and cooking are safe? Dr. Michael Sevilla joins us now to talk about some good rules of thumb. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, first of all, why are the eggs being recalled in the first place? Well, what they're finding is that uh, the CDC, the government agency that tracks infections like salmonella, mm -hmm. did see a little bit of a bump up in the uh, salmonella infections going back to the last few months, and they've been able to trace it to these farms in Iowa, and that's why the recall is taking place. And how do the eggs actually get contaminated with salmonella? Well, what we're finding now is that uh, it could be in the feed that the hens are eating, and it could be through to unsanitary conditions that's being investigated right now. Now, what are some of the signs of salmonella? How did they figure it out? How did they trace it back to these eggs, I guess? Um, I think when they were able to trace it to the, some of the restaurants that uh, they had these infections, they were able to trace it back uh, to these farms. Some of the, the symptoms are a fever, nausea, vomiting, uh, diarrhea, and these symptoms can uh, start between uh, one and three days after uh, you have the infected egg. So a lot of people, they, they were saying this went back all the way to maybe April. So a lot of people may have had salmonella and, and didn't even know it, is that right? Yeah, that's right. And, and most of these uh, infections are uh, very mild. Um, sometimes you know, just people just need to get rehydrated. Rarely do, do people uh, need to be hospitalized and there have not been any deaths uh, associated with this salmonella outbreak yet. Now what are some of the uh, treatments for salmonella if people do get this? Uh, most of the time it's just uh, recognizing the symptoms. If you get a little bit dehydrated uh, then to rehydrate yourself. Rarely do uh, people need uh, um, antibiotics or hospitalization but if you get those symptoms definitely check with your doctor. Now how can we make sure because you know a lot we hear about these recalls all the time. We had peanut butter, we had lettuce, and now eggs. How can we be sure that the food we're eating is safe to eat, I guess. Is there anything that we can do or are we just sort of just stuck with it and, you know, we get sick, we get sick. Well, I mean, uh, they're it, being looked into right now as far as, you know, should these government agencies have more oversight? Should they have more people? That's going to be debated by the legislatures. But for the consumer, you know, it's just, just your common sense right now as far as, you know, you know cleaning these products, uh, washing them off. Um, mm -hmm. That's the best thing that you can do right now. And going back to the eggs, cook them thoroughly. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely right now. Yeah, there's a, there's a list on the FDA website of what the bad eggs are. Um, and if, you're, if your uh, eggs in your refrigerator are on that list, don't use those. And if you're not uh, uh, on that list, then definitely cook them uh, thoroughly at this point. And is it true that some people uh, are uh, not as susceptible to get seminole as others, like they have a stronger stomach? Is that true or well, is that false? The people that we worry about are the elderly or people whose uh, immune system may be compromised, so may be at higher risk for hospitalization and dehydration and very serious uh, uh, complications. All right, Dr. Savella, as always, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thanks.